Thank you for joining me today. My name is Calvin. I'm a senior developer at Morph. I've been doing front-end and back-end Drupal for many years. Lately, I've been involved in projects that make use of design systems to maintain the look and feel of their website. And today, I would like to share my experience of building Drupal with Twig. To, imp to implement the um, components defined in, in the design system, so one of my daily tasks is to transform a standard Drupal site into the design our clients want. But how? <laughs> in Drupal, we have default, a default template engine called Twig. By making use of the Twig functions together with the Drupal design system, the, the Drupal template system, we can do something amazing. So what, is a uh, so what is a template engine? A template engine takes a static template, combines with process data, and turns into dy dynamic pages. Let's see some examples. I have a standard Drupal 10 site with some content setup. Um, it's set up with two content types, article and page some view mode, default, full content, and teaser view modes. And in this demonstration, I'm using Bootstrap for our theme. And this is the Bootstrap sub-theme. After this is enabled, this is what the site looks like. I'm not sure about you, but <laughs> that's pretty much how I feel when I first look at the site. I'm sure Bootstrap can do something uh, better than that. So let's see how we can improve it. From the um, Bootstrap website, I found this horizontal cut, and I think that will look good on our teaser view mode. So let's bring that into our theme. So I first um, created a components folder. This is a folder that I'm putting all the Bootstrap templates, and we will create one for the horizontal cut. So go back to the Bootstrap website, copy the code, and paste that into our theme. So we replace those uh, Bootstrap content, and for now we are putting some variables in. And that's it. So that piece of code is the implementation of uh, our card. But in order to use that in our view mode, we need to set up the view mode template. View mode templates are defined uh, in Drupal, and by adding the templates into our theme, it allows us to override the default template. And we'll set up for um, the teaser view mode for articles. So this is what the view modes look like, and let's break it down. We use the include function, which is a trick function, to pull in the components that we just created and we map the fields into the variables. So this is a side-by-side -side wheel. On the left, we have the teaser wheel mode, and the right is the, uh, on the right-hand side is the cut, the components, the cut horizontal that we created. And we are mapping the image field into the image, the label into the cut title, and the summary field in the cut text. And it will turn this one into something like that, which I reckon is much better. But if you take a closer look into it, it's actually uh, the corner of the image is broken. Trust me, it doesn't look good, like, especially if there's a colored image. Uh, it, like, I'm sure your client won't be happy with that. So, and the reason for that is uh, when we create the component, if we put it side by side with the bootstrap template, uh, we have some classes missing, those one highlighted. And in order to fix that, we need help from preprocessor. So preprocessor, a function defined in the theme, uh, in the theme file, it can help us to prepare variables that doesn't exist in the template. So in this example, I'm pulling out the data from the media and the file entity and make them available in, in our template. 
So with how uh, with the help of uh, preprocess preprocessor functions, we can now set up the images uh, with the right classes. And once it's, that is applied, that's what it looks like. Let's also check out the full content view mode. Um, this is what it looks like by default, which isn't too bad. We have the image on top of the body text, but again, there's room to improve. In full content view mode, we want to set up layout template. This layout can be reused in other content types to keep the site consistent. And this is a simple two column layout set up with um, Bootstrap grid system. And we use blocks to define the region. And later on, we can assign fields into the regions. So let's set up our full content view mode for our articles. Um, we use extends to pull in the layout. And then we use blocks. So these are the uh, trick functions. And we use blocks to assign the fields. We have the image fields uh, in the sidebar. And we have the body fields put in the main content region. So after it is in place, it turns the articles um, with two columns layout like that. The same sidebar layout, we can use it in other content types. So in page content type, um, again, we can use extend to pull the um, layout in. And this time, we are assigning a, a menu in the sidebar. And when uh, we set up the body fields in the main content region. To make things more versatile, we can set up variables. So instead of that, like four, eight columns, we can replace them with uh, variables. So that we can have different column width in different content type. So on the left, the articles, we set up four, eight columns. And on the page content type, we have different width for the sidebar and the content. And after it is set up, this is what the article looks like. And this is the page content type with the sidebar menu and different uh, column width. So to build a site with Twig, there are some common techniques that we, we are using. So we have the template. We set up the template in the theme folder to override the default template. Preprocessor helps us to prepare the variables. And we have covered some very handy functions from Twig, include, extend, and blocks. That will allow us to set up components in template that we can use in real modes. And if you ever need to use the components again in other places, let's say if you want to set up uh, as a paragraph type, all you need to do, you use the include function to map the fields into the variables. Same as layouts, once it's defined, you can use it in different places. And we use extend and blocks to fill in the fields into the regions. And there are much more functions available. Um, you can check out um, all the functions on their website. Some of them are very much like PHP functions that allows you to massage the content before this displaying onto the template. So that's by no means the only way to build a Drupal site. But I hope my demonstration today gives you some idea next time when you build a website. So thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, uh, I noticed you are using the view modes and the display select manager, you know, what's showing on the page sort of thing. Do you have any strategies for honoring like the order that they're in or the groups that they might be in, in your actual templates? Is that, like you're sort of printing each part out in an arbitrary place? Um, the ordering of the field, is that what you're referring to? Yeah, like in the display mode. Um, you know, the, the fields have formats and orders, um, and if you feel a way of a uh, different strategy of honoring that in the template. Yeah, so this is like, um, yeah, you just put different fields in the template. Uh, 
inside the block. The one way to do it, um, and other way you can also like leverage the um, um, the wheel modes uh, in the Drupal UI, so to set the order. But um, I will pretty much just like have the field body. If you have other things, just put it on it. Uh, that's the way how I do it. I want to just for everyone's benefit that Drupal block function in Tweak. That's part of Tweak Tweak, which is a concrete module. It's not part of Core. Just that, so if you try that, and use it, it won't work without. That's right, that's right. Yeah, for the, oh, exactly that one there. Um, yeah, so that is uh, the tweak, the tweak, tweak module, which is very powerful. And you can see uh, it even uh, allows you to define the level of the manual and uh, do the configuration all right at the template. Without that, you can still do it like with preprocessor function, uh, but that would be a lot of much more work to do. But this. Yeah, the tweak, tweak, tweak modules that just fast track the process for you.